All right, it's Ron back with another review, and this is kind of a seasonal review here. What I have here is the, uh, the I don't know if you can see the branding here, the, the PGY Tech uh, Photographer's Gloves. And, uh, you know, I reviewed these when they first came out. Uh, I, no, when they first came out, I got them about a year ago. So I reviewed them when I first got them, like around the holidays last year when the weather turned cold. Because I wanted something to keep my hands warm when I was out flying the drone. And... Um, you know, I wanted something, you know, with, you know, the fingers, uh, ex my t fingertips exposed uh, because uh, I really need, I can't be messing around when I got hip functions on touch screens and so on. So I need those fingers exposed. So, I, you know, I looked around, several companies have, you know, things like, you know, I just showed you the, um, the, the photographer's gloves. Now, let me show you how these work here. The, the three, the thumb here, uh, the big finger and the index finger here all have these like little snap mechanisms there where you could snap them and uh, you know so that kind of you keep your finger covered like that there's like a little hole here where your finger pops through or you could snap them back down again you know keep them uh, exposed now when I first got these it was hard to uh, you know, get the snaps working to keep them snapped and actually the first pair I got uh, you know, actually one of the snaps broke on me almost like on my first use. So I, I, I purchased them through Amazon. So I sent it back, you know, I did a return request, sent it back to Amazon. They sent me another pair and the second pair have been, you know, great. I've, you know, actually when I first got it, I snapped the, the snaps a whole bunch of times to make sure they wouldn't break again. They did not. So, um, yeah. And here's what I really recommend with these gloves. When I first got them, you know, I thought they were good, but and they were a little bit stiff and, um, you know, uh, so, you know, I didn't really love using them at first just because of the stiffness of it and the snaps. Like, I was trying to unsnap them and snap them back every time. And extremely hard to get the snaps to snap back in the field when it's cold uh, with them on. So what I do now is I just leave the snaps permanently snapped down like that with the three fingers exposed. And, uh, you know, I only use them for either drone flying or just general photography, you know, GoPros. Uh, Insta360, you know, uh, uh, real Olympus, uh, uh, mirrorless cameras. So uh, what I do is, uh, you know, I just have a real pair of gloves I use around to just general glove wearing, driving the car, you know, shoveling snow, and I only use these just for, um, you know, again, the things I just said. So um, that really helped that I've kept them snapped down the whole time. You know, now they stay, they never kind of pop out there. And if you can see here when you put them on, um, you know, my, my fingertips pop through the two big fingers and the thumb here. So the, the stuff I really need to operate my touch screen devices and buttons on controllers and so on. And also has a, uh, a Velcro strap here so you can, you know, tighten it or loosen up around your, your wrist there. So, and these are, um, you know, uh, Thinsulate lug gloves here. Um, take them off here. I think I, the other pair has the uh, branding on it. Uh, yeah, here's the um, the the 3M Finsulate logo on them, so they definitely um, you know keep your hands warm uh, in sub freezing uh, temperatures. Here, and also has a little hook here, so you can hook them both together, so you always have them as a, as a pair. So um, yeah, uh, and I, you know I've seen a lot of people flying their drones now that's got real cold, and they're all out there complaining about their hands are freezing. And I remind them, you know, hey, you need your photographer's gloves on. Don't freeze your hands off out there. And they all tell me, oh, I got those things. I don't like them. And I always recommend the P PGY Tech brand. It's the only one I've ever tried. Um, and they say, yeah, I got that one. I don't like them. And, and I, I, I kind of know why they say that to me, I think, because they've only tried them once or twice. And, again, you got to break them in. They're, they're really stiff when you first get them. But, uh, you know, at first, I, I, another way to get them broken is, I say, I don't use them for fly, but, you know, when you first get them, if you just use them as just general gloves until you get them broke in, you know, that, that's, a, that's a good idea, too. So, uh, anyways, um, I will leave uh, link, links down below. Uh, where you can purchase these gloves on Amazon.com. Uh, if you're a Prime member, you get free shipping. And remember, I uh, am an Amazon affiliate uh, uh, seller, so I get a um, 
I get a, you know, like a small kickback on anything you purchase through my links, not just the gloves, but anything else you may want to buy that day. And the money does go to help support the channel here, you know, to uh, help me uh, get more things in here to get reviewed. So I, I want to thank you for, for using those links. And uh, I got a little bit of, I got a little clip here where I'm using these gloves kind of out in, in the cold, snowy conditions in the field. So uh, I hope you enjoy that. Roll that clip. Go. Hello, it's Ron here today. I'm here at the frozen wastelands of the Jersey Shore. We had a, two snowfalls this week. We had a big one earlier in the week. We had a smaller one a couple days ago, but there's a lot of snow around at cold temperatures today. The type, the type of temperatures that can freeze somebody's hands out off when they're out flying drones and record GoPro video. But today, I reviewed this product almost a year ago, and I want to kind of circle back and do a follow-up review. What I have here today is the uh, PGY uh, Tech photographer's gloves uh you know you can it's hard to really show the branding here but the uh the thing about these is they have the uh you know the the the, the thumb the big finger and the index finger where you can snap it back and uh let me show you here without dropping the glove on the ground here i'll show you the thumb see one for the thumb uh, it's got the snap here and uh you know you can snap it back again so i kind of keep my permanently snap back or whatever you know because i mostly just use them to just fly and i use another set of gloves when i'm shoveling snow or just you know driving or something like that but um here's the thing about these gloves when you first get them they're really stiff um you know they're they're hard to get on they're real stiff on the hands these snaps it takes you a long time to like you know get them snap back and make them stay back and, and if you just if you just full with them you just get them full them one time you probably put them away and never use them again but the key is you got to keep using them okay this is almost a year ago since i had them of course they don't get used in the summertime the warm temperatures but um i've used them you know now over you know se you know several months and i've got them broken in and they work really good now um and you put them on like i said i got the i kind of permanently keep the snaps back now so i got these three uh fingertips out to uh you know hit a touch screen on a device such as a your phone your tablet or the um you know the dji smart controller or the new rc pro uh, and there's also a, a you know velcro band here to adjust about how tight them how tight you want them on their hands so you can loosen them up if you feel it's like too tight which is good and here's even a little clip here so you can clip them both together not not lose one glove you always have the two gloves together so i you know you know i recommend if you did get these last year and you didn't send them back or or, or throw or give them away they get them out and try them again and keep using them until you get them broken and maybe you know use them for other things besides drone flying or photography for a while get them broken in so when you do do those activities they're nice you know they're in nice broken in for you so okay uh i hear you know you hear noise in the background that's ice and icicles melting and falling off things because we got a, a lot of bright sunlight out here today you know but very little <laughs> warm heat so uh, all right i hope you like these follow up on these gloves and uh you know uh i definitely see a lot of people such as marcus crawford out in the cold conditions that he's always talking about freezing his hands off here's the key get yourself a nice pair of uh, uh photographer's gloves I, I i'm pushing the pgi tech pgy tech ones but there's other ones out in the market that may be better than this also this is the only ones i've tried but again once you get them broken in uh they're they're you know i, I really enjoy them now so okay we will see you in the next one folks